live <laughs> show and Justin because we got so much cool stuff to talk about. We can't contain it all to the podcast. So we're going live right now. Big event. I got Justin right there standing by. He's going to tell you all about all the great things we got going on. Things are going to start really, really happening here at your saltwaterguide.com gig. You guys have no idea. We're sitting on a powder keg, J Justin and I here. We're about to go live. If you can see how clear Justin looks, we're about to start going live fishing trips. And Justin's going to tell you all about it. And the first trip's going to be tomorrow with this new internet camera situation. Look at how clear Justin is. Could you imagine how good his nose hairs are going to look on this video? It's going to be incredible, gang. So welcome. Also, I just talked to one of our... One of our good buddies, longtime friend, known him for my whole life, Devin Cruz, just got down going to the beach in San Clemente. And you remember Bill Varney and I were talking about those red crabs? Well, the whole beach, South San Clemente, is covered in red crabs right now. So that's a big breaking event. Things are going to change really quick, gang. I was just reading a, a post on one of the other websites. They're saying, oh, all the tuna are gone. Oh, all the tuna. It's April. It's April 17th. We're not supposed to catch April <laughs> gang. So everyone's way too spoiled. Things are super bitching right now in the fishing industry. The, they put those new regs on the rockfish, but you know what? We all went out there. We're fishing around the regs. There's millions and millions of rockfish. There's sea bass at the Channel Islands. Sonny's got a great game plan tomorrow. There's sea bass biting at the Channel Islands. There's halibut biting all over the place. Justin's going to give you guys the big shindig on what's going on here. So kick back, relax, and listen to Justin. Hello, everyone. How are you? So tomorrow, I'm going to be going for halibut live and rockfish live with a new system I have on the boat. It's going to be absolutely amazing. I have two different Wi-Fi set up right now on the boat. The one that you're seeing me on right now, it's super, super clear. All the new cameras are coming in very soon, and that's going to be even better. You're going to get different angles. You're going to get three different angles. But while we're out fishing, you're going to see out in the water further. You're going to see on the deck, and you can see up my nose. So it's going to be extremely exciting. And just like Dave said about the red crabs that are here, get ready. Hold on. Make sure all your gear is in order because it's about ready to bust a wide open out here in the water. The water temperature last week was 55 degrees. Right now, it's 61 degrees. My buddy who works on the Amigo just let me know just a little while ago, about 30 minutes ago, Catalina Island is 61 to 64 degrees in different spots. All you have to do is find current, and you're going to catch fish. The rockfish is wide open right now. There's some giant barn door halibut that are biting right outside of Long Beach. You can find all that on the game plan for your saltwater guide. It's where you're seeing all these pictures come from with those big old 40 pound plus um, halibut. Really cool, you'll find out the exact setup that we're using, light line, sardines, and so on. Another thing that we're using that we're proud to announce, which you see on Monday, or no, it was Tuesday, is the new descending device. This is the new descending device from Promar. Promar Ahi, there's a package right here. It's only $13.99. And if you use code YSWG22, you are going to save on your order. So $13.99, you get two of them. And the way that we set it up, which you'll see tomorrow, so make sure you're watching the live show so you're going to see exactly how this is working, is we have, here's a rod right here. These are the squid squirts, okay? Squid squirts set up on the rod. And then at the bottom right here, this is the best way to do it. You can put it at the top as well. At the bottom, you put your descending device and your weight. That way, just like you heard before, you don't have to continue winding it up, put down another rod to descend them, and then put your rod back down to catch a fish. Drop the fish back down, have your squid squirts ready just to catch another fish. You're going to see tomorrow how that works. I'm sure we're going to do pretty good. We normally do pretty good out there. We're going for limits or bust, so we're going to get limits. <laughs> so, yeah, the, the halibut, the halibut, we're going to try to at least get one barn door halibut for you all to see. Um, but rockfish, we should do pretty good. We're going to bounce around on the rockfish all over the place just to find out where the bigger ones are because there are a lot of smaller ones. And please, 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 everyone that goes out for rockfish, don't let them float on the water. Fish and game and the surveyors are watching us. They're watching, and if you let them float on the water and just drift away, they're reporting that. 
as soon as they report that, it's going to give us even less of a chance to catch anything out here in Southern California. So make sure you descend them down. Easiest way is a descending device from Cromar Ahi. Okay, that's great information. Steve yeah. Duncan Bugman and a lot of our people and a lot of the people are super excited about tomorrow. We've been waiting patiently for this to get rolling again. You spoiled the heck out of all of us during <laughs> the lobster thing, man. We're all jonesing to watch you fish. It's going to be very fun tomorrow. I can't wait. You're even going to bring another. You're going to bring a booger eater out with you to help him out a little bit. You're bringing Pablo with you tomorrow. Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah, Pablo's coming out with me. I'm going to have a couple other guys out with me that you heard their names, and you'll see who they are exactly. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. The time I should be going live, I don't know exactly, but plan on 7 o'clock, 7 a.m. 7 a.m., I should be going live for halibut, and then I'm going to continue on going live until about 11, 11.30. I got to cut off right before noon, so. And here's the story, gang. If you want to be... Because we're going to be doing this like all season long. <laughs> so if you don't want to miss it, hit that bell over there on on uh, YouTube. And that's going to alert you that we're going live. And also uh, allow the notifications on Facebook that we're going live. We're going to get real close to Instagram inviting us in on the live. Setting them up on Restream like this. Because... Justin, before I go to sleep tonight, we'll be at 80,000 followers on oh my gosh. Instagram. Not that that's a big deal to those of you that have hundreds of thousands, but for us silly little fishermen, that's a big deal. Yeah. You know, I had 2,500 three years ago, and now I got 80,000. I'm pretty blown away. Yeah, that's so pretty amazing. If you are tired of being broke and you have a product and you want to start selling it, you may call Promar and ask him, how's it working out being part of your saltwater guide? How's Justin and Dave doing for you? I think they're working overtime tonight. Just try to catch up to these, uh, this, these, these <laughs> devices, right? Yeah. Yeah, they absolutely are. So we went down there today so I could pick up some more squid squirts and, uh, they were asking me, hey, you guys want to put together some of these this, uh, descending devices because we're overloaded right now. So oh, it, it is pretty horrible. amazing. And thank you to all of you. Thank you so much. I guarantee you're going to love this device. It is so convenient to have as well, especially when you don't need another rod. So that's just one less rod you need to bring on the boat. You don't need another rod to descend them. You just use the same rod you're going to fish with. It's really amazing. And another thing I wanted to... Um, let everyone know. Is, so tomorrow when we go live, um, we're going to try doing Restream, right? Yes. We're gonna, we're, so we're going to try doing it on the platform that we're on right now. <clears throat> Before, when you seen up my nose, which is for Lobster, that was just Facebook Live. And then we tried to bounce it off of other um, social medias. Now we're going to do this other thing called Restream. And hopefully everything goes good. If it doesn't or something lacks or something goes wrong, then we'll switch it over to the regular one that we did before. So just make sure everyone stays tuned. If it does cut off for some odd reason, then we'll switch it over to the other um, Facebook Live. But this, so. this, uh, we're just dumb fishermen. Whatever you use to make the internet work, this yeah. is a, a new system Justin has on his boat. If you can tell, he's super clear, way <laughs> yeah. clearer, way clearer than we've ever seen you before. So this is going <laughs> to be so fun fishing tomorrow. Gang, share this with your friends and family and everybody because a lot of people are going to be at work tomorrow. And you know, we all, when we're at work, the last thing we all want to do is work. So you're going to be at work with the volume <laughs> down, watching Justin fish. And yeah. the really cool thing about it, no editing. So when he sucks, you're all going to know it. And when he succeeds, you're all going to know it. That's why Justin and I believe in our hearts that there's no time to not watch. Because here's how it's going to go. You're going to turn it off for a little bit, turn it back on. Justin's going to look at, go, look at, come here. Look at the deckhand sports bag. Look at this halibut we just threw in here. And yeah. you're going to miss it. Things happen on the water fast. Yeah. I know you guys see that edited stuff where the guy, a bluefin blows up, the rod bends over, they wind it in. You get to see all that. That's <laughs> not how it is in real life. What you're going to do tomorrow is what it's really like. As far as rockfish, as far as halibut, as far as setting up on the spots, as far as Justin being a human being, 
So there's times, and you guys that have been on sport boats know, the captain even misses the spot sometimes. And then he has to reset up. But here's the really cool thing. Why Justin's live, he's going to be able to read your question because his phone's going to be up in the overhead. So this is going to be really bitching. We've never, there's nothing like this out there. Justin's going to be answering your questions. So you're going to see him setting up on a spot. You're going to go, how did you figure out to go to the, to the northwest corner of the rock instead of the southeast corner? Stuff like that. All the different things that are going on. Why did you have them stop? Why did you have them keep winding? Anything you see, you can ask Justin or myself. We're both going to be available. Pablo's going to be fishing, so we can all make fun of him while he's fishing, too. It's <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be so much fun i can't wait i i'm just so excited to be back on the water because it's being on the water is like a vacation all the time Absolutely. so let's see and it's gonna be so fun to watch tomorrow it's just back to back to the justin Bo trail show just, <laughs> be just insane there's so many people on the outside right now looking to justin that are are no. going oh should we sign these guys is this viable is this something because the numbers you hit for the lobster season not counting what you caught but the yeah. amount of people that watch the amount of people that you touch the amount of people that you turned on the lobster fishing we're gonna now daytime everybody's <laughs> gonna be on during the day man this yeah is so bitching it is so exciting and just like dave said a little while ago that you always everyone always sees the edited versions right where people go out and they catch bluefin you know how many days it took them to catch that one bluefin they don't show you that they went out three or four days until they caught one and you've seen one blow up they don't show you that so you're gonna see it all raw out on the water exactly what we do and exactly how not exactly how we fish but pretty much how we fish from your saltwater guide and what we teach you being a member and then as well as when you're a member of your saltwater guide you're going to get the exact spots and you're going to get a lot more info and intel of how i'm actually catching this so there are some behind the scene things i'm going to be doing that only your saltwater guide members are going to know but yeah it's going to be so exciting and everyone's going to have a lot of fun watching it is going well, to be really it's going to be great it's going to be absolutely great and the other thing that i was talking about a few minutes ago you're going to get to see you're going to get to see the guys that aren't ready when Justin says, okay, drop them. You'll see the guy, one guy will be ready. The other guys will be picking their nose and eating a book. Even though we love them all, they're all our friends. It's just the way it is, gang. If you're rockfish fishing, you've got to have your sinker in your hand and your reel and free spool and your thumb on the trigger. So when Justin says, let it go, you drop it. Let it go. Because a lot of these spots are as big as your couch. So yep. you're going to get that red right when you hit the bottom. And then the other fish are going to be all the garbage junk fish. The reds are going to be right on the spot when he says, let them go. So you guys will all watch all this come down tomorrow. And then you can start to understand all those 580 videos on the website that Justin and I have made. You're going to get to see the explanation in full force tomorrow. And you'll be able to tell the guys that are doing it, the year saltwater guide way and the guys that are doing it the other way it's, everything's going to get revealed like it does lobster fishing we got to see all the superstars of lobster fishing showing us <laughs> they have no idea how to pull a hoop net they know have no idea how to gap the rope they have no idea how to stack the rope but they're the superstars but they got revealed they got real humble yeah that is so true it is really true it's true watching the other the other guys you know that went live lobster hooping and they were like screwing it up one guy prop fouled himself <laughs> i don't oh, know yeah. we got to watch it's just really funny but yeah everyone right. everyone's gonna have a great time tomorrow i'm gonna go live right around seven o'clock maybe a little earlier but it'll be about seven seven a.m and uh we'll be going for about four hours maybe a little longer maybe a little shorter depends how we do maybe we'll limit out right away but uh yeah i hope everyone stays tuned make sure you share it tomorrow share it share it share it Hit the like button. We're going to try to get at least two to 3,000 likes in the first two hours. And uh, send some stars. Please send some stars, everybody. It helps out a lot. And how we're going to do it tomorrow, gang, is we're going to let it roll right until 12 o'clock. Then at 12 o'clock, we're just going to pull Justin's feed down. And Kelly Girl and I are going to do our show. And oh. then if something's happening during the show, I can see 
what's going on. I can click Justin right back on the screen. I don't think there's any reason to stop and start again because we're going to have a great audience. And then we'll maybe we'll just leave Justin on the whole time while he's fishing. <laughs> Kelly and I are talking and we can talk through it. This is all brand new, gang. There is no script for Justin. No one's ever done this before. So, yeah. Yeah, it is going to be so exciting. I'm I'm just so excited right now. I can't stop smiling. <laughs> and if people tell you they've done it before, say, okay, where can we see yeah. it? Oh, because <laughs> you've never done it before. No yeah. one's ever let you in all the way. You're going to be in all the way. Think about that, gang. You're going to be in all the way. You're going to get to know why Justin made the decision he made to go left instead of right. All the things you always wonder about. That's what this show is going to provide you with. You're going to be in the end. The industry, the, the industry hates me already. They're really going to hate me now. They're really going to hate you now. <laughs> and you'll get to see the guys come up and poach off of Justin. You, everything will be. Yeah. You will see where Justin goes. He'll be where there's no boats. You can't control yep. what happens after you get there. But if he comes out and he looks and he looks over towards the 105 and he says there's four boats over there, he's not going over there. Nope. He's going to go to another area. He's got more than one spot. But I'm just going to tell you, when he gets to where he's going, in probably an hour or less, there'll be yeah. boats all around him. There's nothing you can do about <laughs> it. Always it always happens. Always. But that's we talk about it all the time on the show every day. Don't fish for boats. And you're going to see all the boats that show up that didn't have a plan. Because if they did have a plan, the last thing they would be doing is fishing next to other boats. There's never a time that you need to fish next to other boats. And if you think you do, then why don't you sell your boat and go get on a sport boat? You get to fish yeah. with 50, 60 of your closest friends. It's spectacular. The last thing I ever wanted to do when I took you fishing was get close to other boats. I don't want them to see what we're doing. And I don't want, and if I'm failing, I sure the hell don't want you to see them catching. Uh, I need a clothing device. I think he's trying to say John Stanley. <laughs> oh, is that a clothing, a cloaking device? What's that? I don't know what that is. Yeah, we're not following you. I don't know. I don't know what that means. What is that? It means they know where you're at. Oh, I have a AIS, but my AIS is staying on. It only comes on for emergencies. That's it. We, we'll tell you exactly where we are on the website. Justin will talk about it on the on the uh, community all the time. He, yep. he always does. He has no problem. And if you call him up on the telephone, here's another thing I think is going to be really fun about this. You can ask just you can go, hey, Justin, you know that spot where you caught all those reds yesterday on the show? Where were you? And guess what he's going to do? He's going to tell you exactly where he is. What? That's the weird. exact spot. Like to the T, the exact spot you're going to know. That's weird. That's how everyone's catching all the halibut. You know, every so everyone knows everybody's going left. And instead, all you have to do is go right. That's all I'm going to say. And everyone I've been telling to go to the spot for halibut, they've been going right instead of left. And they're catching. So it, it's really that easy when you remember you're a tall water guy. Yeah, everything you're going to see tomorrow, whether we catch fish or not, if you want to know where we went and you're a member, just ask. You will know. Absolutely. We don't play hide the ball over here. We got a great reputation. You can Google us. You can find out if your saltwater guy really is all that or a bag of chips. But you know what? It's all going to be revealed here on these. If you missed the live lobster trips and you still are like, I don't know if these guys are legit or not. Well, you can go back and look on Facebook. He did six, 64 trips, caught over 2,100 legal lobsters live. 2,200. Oh, excuse me. 2,243 exact. So you got to see it live. We don't know how to. We don't know how to edit live video. We haven't figured it out yet. We don't have AI. We don't know. So what you're seeing is what's really happening. Yeah, and and just like the lobster videos, you've seen when I caught two. Or when we got two illegals, and you see when we got 60 illegals or 40 illegals on the boat. Same with tomorrow. You're going to see the same thing. Whether we get one halibut or 10 halibut, 20 halibut or no halibut. Or one rockfish or no rockfish. So you'll see it all. It'll be so much fun. And we'll, put, we'll have all kinds of contests throughout the season. We'll have, we'll, we're going to do like Luke McFadden, my buddy does. We're going to 
we're going to have weird exotic bait some days justin will bring <laughs> out we can do side pots see who thinks this bait's going to get bit we'll give away a shirt or a hat or something there's so much cool fun stuff that we're about to do gang and i'm so happy that you're all involved and remember those of you that have been watching us for all these years you can tell all your friends because this is going to be bigger than anything you've ever seen before and you can tell all your friends we were there in the very beginning we knew this was going to be big yeah. yeah it is it is going to be very special i'm guessing oh salmon yeah salmon head try salmon head uh so yeah just like they said we'll do different contests throughout the year and um i'll try whatever you want me to try whether we're going for uh, a lot of helicopters out today it is long beach so um i'll try whatever you want me to try uh my the clients on the boat they're going to use what's going to work but i'll personally try whatever you want me to try and i'll try to catch a fish on it as long as it's legal i go i only do legal stuff and that's it so um and what else oh i forgot what i was gonna say gosh dang it i'll remember in a minute it was something good too thank well, we're going to make up all kinds of contests and stuff. Just comment, comment, comment. Send us lots of comments. Let us know what you think. And if you have a friend or somebody that doesn't quite understand how this is, how your saltwater guide runs, if you want them to get a free look at my website, just give them my number, 949-374-0786. It is by far the most comprehensive, best website ever built for fishermen by a fisherman. You go look at any other website. I don't give a sh where you're at. Mm -hmm. if you're in Tennessee, you're in Nashville, you're on the freaking moon. There are no fishermen out there that fish their whole life for a living that could put together what I put together because I know how much money we make as fishermen. I went way beyond the call of duty. I have the best app ever made for fishing game. I got Justin. I got myself. I got Al Cap. Clowers, I got Pablo, I got Sonny, I got Dana Orr Sport Fishing, I got a plethora of captains from Cabo San Lucas to, to San Francisco, all giving us information all the time. So if you think there's a better website out there, you go right ahead, dear, and go jump on it and give them all your hard-earned money. But I, try, try to call one of them on the phone and ask them yeah. what's going on. Or let me know how their live show goes when they're out on the water, gang. I'm telling you. <laughs> This is bigger and better than anything you've ever seen in your life. There's nothing like this. If you want to go figure out how to read charts and do all that stuff, if you're going to be a professional yacht captain where you have to decipher water and everything, then th this isn't your website. This is We teach people how to go catch fish on their day off. Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> when is the best day to go fishing? The day you can go. Yep, exactly. Because fish are always biting. And you'll learn that at your saltwater guide. There's always something to catch all year long. Every single day, there's something to catch. Every day. And if anyone wants to book with me, um, a charter with me, you can give me a call or text. My phone number is 951-703-9442. And there's some people texting. What are you doing a show right now for? Gang, we're trying to let everybody know that Justin is going live tomorrow morning at seven o'clock. Tell a friend, kick your kick your dog, do something. Let everybody know <laughs> Justin is going live. It's going to be insane. <laughs> kick your dog. Yeah, kick your dog. Wake him up. Make him get out there and watch. It's going to be incredible. Yes. Yeah, so, so everyone knows. Also, we're not. So tomorrow is local, local half day. So we'll be fishing local, but there's also going to be days where we go three quarter days and full days. You're going to see all that right here at your saltwater guide. We're going to be going live through the whole entire thing. Everything. I changed my uh, bookings. If you look on my website and everything at Bowline Sport Fishing and for other bookings that I go through, when you come on my boat, it's live stream. You're coming on a live stream. We're going to be live every single time. Catalina Island, you're going to see when I'm doing good, when I'm doing bad. You're going to see those big old huge 50-pound white sea bass coming up. Or you're going to see us get skunked. Or you're going to see us catch a bunch of yellowtail, limits of yellowtail, or catch one yellowtail and catch a million uh, calico bass. You want to see something really fun? Watch the smiles on people's faces when they catch a calico bass. Hard-hitting fish, and they love to fight. It's so much fun. And it's my favorite fish to fish for, but I really don't know how to fish. That's why I like them so much. <laughs> 
I don't know how to fish. I'm the kind of idiot that gets on a jet from Cabo, leaves Cabo San Lucas to go catch 15 inch bone fish. Bone fish. <laughs> right. Yeah. And if you don't think I did, you missed the show. I just talked about it. <laughs> yeah, I know you did. <laughs> but that's, hey, I just love it. You know what? We love oh. fishing. Huh? We love fishing. And just like you, you love fishing so much. I love fishing so much. Dave loves fishing so much that he's willing to share everything he knows with everybody. And that's why when you're a member of Your Saltwater Guide, you're going to get all the information you've ever wanted to know. And another thing that I get when um, people come out with me or they talk to me or I teach them how to fish and I go on their boat, I get this all the time. They're like, you know what's so great about today? It just cut my learning curve down by 20 to 30 years and i'm all really he's all they would tell me i haven't learned so much ever it would take me 20 30 years to learn what i just learned in the last two hours with you so it, it really is it's really worth it it's i would highly recommend it for everybody and there's a lot of people that could vouch for it hundreds and hundreds maybe thousands of people and that's why this show is going to be so bitching because it's not like it's not like you're watching TV and you can't be a part of, you're going to be a part of the hottest show ever made. People, it doesn't matter if you're fishermen or not. They, the quality of watching what's going on out of the water. I mean, there's lots of people that watch Wicked Tuna that, that know nothing about fishing. And, that, yeah. you get, and if you broke down Wicked Tuna, everyone waits all week for it to come on. And when it comes on, if you broke it all down, you're going to get, in a one hour show, you're going to get to see 33 minutes of actual content. 90% of that 33 minutes is what you saw right before they went to commercial break. Again, they re reshow it. So you don't see any of that garbage. And the, the commercials that we're having, are you holding up the thing that you just caught the fish with going, okay, <laughs> this is what I caught it on. You can yeah. either buy this or you can buy that other garbage that someone else is going to sell you that we don't have a clue if it works, but we know this worked. Yeah, right. And and so everyone knows, uh, well, not everybody knows, but everyone's going to know now. I had a, uh, a TV show called um, Venom Hunters on Discovery Channel um, for a couple of years. And I know from experience to have your 15 minutes of fame from one episode takes two weeks of filming. So 15 minutes of fame, one episode, you think, okay, one episode is going to be one hour long. It actually isn't. Your face is only on there for 15 minutes. So it's called 15 minutes of fame. That's where it comes from. But it took two weeks of filming just to get 15 minutes. So you are going to watch this four hours straight of nothing but live coverage straight from the water. So unedited on everything, it's going to be amazing. And it's, I believe it's what everyone's been wanting so bad. Because if you look at these reality shows that really aren't reality shows, they get tons of views for the network. It's what kind of floats the network. But people are getting wise to that now and starting to understand. Yeah. When people are in the jungle for a month and they have makeup on. They, they, people are starting to understand that. This real yeah, reality. I don't want to spoil that one for everybody, but. What Dave is saying is 100% correct. Don't believe everything you see on TV, just like you, just like everyone hears all the time. Don't believe everything you hear on the news. Do not believe everything you see on TV. It's only there for viewing pleasure. That's it. I promise you. Been there, done that. <laughs> so just understand, everybody, when you're watching tomorrow, fishing goes like this. Hours and hours of prep for three or four minutes of mayhem yeah. so just be you don't want to miss the mayhem that might be when you decide to go to the bathroom or turn your phone off <laughs> right that's call. when it always happens so just remember tomorrow you're going to get four hours of just really cool stuff or it could really suck and justin may not catch a fish all day tomorrow all day you never know it's fishing you, you know never what know. I'd like to do? Get a hold of uh, Dave over at Barstool Sports, and we can start doing some uh, offline betting on this stuff. Oh, yeah, that would be really cool. How long is it going to take for Justin to catch his first fish tomorrow? What oh my, is it? Well, you've got, you got a great idea. So, <laughs> you know, oh, my goodness. Wow. What? So, what a great idea. 
if you just put it on the live videos at places in the casinos in Vegas, other casinos, the Indian casinos, and they pay us, yeah, yeah, and people can bet on how many fish, just like horse racing. How many fish or how many of this? People could bet, oh my gosh, you you got something going on now. <laughs> wow. Lobster season too. Now there's just yeah. so many things that can happen. Nothing like this has ever been done before. Here's 90% of the reason why most captains won't do this. Because they're not real. Yeah. And they're scared to pull the blankie back. Yeah. They, they that is so they true. That talk. is very true. They don't know how to talk. They're, they're horrible at speaking to people. They can talk yeah. down to their crew like nobody's business, but yeah. Yeah. Very why true. Has it never happened before. Why is no one in my position ever built a website? Why is no one in my position ever had an app? Because we don't have any flipping money and we're stuck in the rut and we're stuck in that industry, gang. That fishing industry is a weird industry. If you've never been in it, you don't really know. Yeah. So. Yep, That's what's absolutely. going on. It's going to be so exciting tomorrow. But those of you that are part of your saltwater guide already, you already know you're on the inside of the inside of the industry. You know yeah. you can't get any deeper in. You know when we go places together, stuff happens. That's pretty magical. <laughs> what, a, what a great idea, though. I can't get this out of my freaking head. Thanks, Dave. About the whole betting thing at casinos and stuff. Well, you know how much this, you know how much this Darlink is going to cost freaking monthly? They can they can pay for it. That Somebody would be amazing. Has to know Dave from Barstool Sports. Yeah, that that's amazing. Somebody that would be such an amazing him. thing. He's so good at marketing that guy, and he loved yeah. they love to bet. They bet on everything. My gosh. They yeah, Anthony um, Turner's does have a full line of product from Comar Ahi. Um, they should. I don't know if they sold out or not, but most of the Turners here in Southern California, if not all of them, have the squid squirts. And they're going to also have the descending devices as well. Very soon. Right now they're trying to fill the orders of like 10,000 from yesterday from the show. So they're all the, even Walmart, Turner's, a bunch of other tackle stores are all gonna have all that stuff for you, the descending devices, and they should have the squid squirts in stock right now. Yeah, Darren, we're live because we're announcing our brand new show that we're launching tomorrow morning at seven o'clock. This is a yeah, big, yeah. big deal. Live fishing. You've been part of it, Darren. A lot of our members have been part of fishing with Justin or Pablo or Al or Sonny. Well, now the world's going to get to see how bitching it is to go fishing with us. Gang, we're not the greatest fishermen in the world. We never claim to be. We just made a better mousetrap than anyone else. That's all. Yeah. It's a better mousetrap. That's all we did. We just go out there. We do the same thing that I've been doing. For 50 years, we just do the same thing. We get up in the morning, we go out there, and we try to put you in the best possible scenario to catch a fish, period. Yeah. We, we, you're going to get to see Justin day in and day out describing the weather and why this weather sucks and that weather is better. You're going to get to see everything. I'm so fired up, I can't even believe it. I know. I am so excited, too. <clears throat> it's going to be amazing. So... Let's see that the new best pro shops doing very well, very well. And, and if anyone has any questions, feel free to ask. Yeah, John, Danley, they don't quite understand it yet. They, they don't, you, you can tell the companies that understand it. They're sponsors of your saltwater guide. The other ones are like dragging their stick in the mud. I understand it's scary, scary, scary to get into something new. And yeah. the last thing you want, John Stanley is to have 800,000 people a day see your product. I mean, why would you want to do that when you can do like a, a pay, paid ad over somewhere where a guy's got like four followers and you could have actually have those four people? Look, you don't want to get involved with someone who has 800,000 views a day. Oh my God. That would be yeah. stupid, Justin. <laughs> right? <laughs> that would be pretty. Jeez. But I mean, it happens like, all the time, too. I don't, I don't understand that stuff. I don't. People pay the people that have 8,000 followers big bucks for 8,000 followers that don't even want half of those don't even watch it. So, but there's no one doing what we're going to be doing. Um, this year is going to be super phenomenal for everybody. It's going to be spectacular. You're going to see succeeding. You're going to see failing. 
You're going to see everything out on the water. You're going to see smiles on people's faces. You're going to see people getting disappointed because they're not catching anything. And then you're going to see me working even harder to try to get them on the fish. And that's what we do. We're not anyone special, okay? Except for Dave. Dave's special. Dave's, uh, Dave is like, he's, he's the uh, caption. <laughs> so, Shut Dave, up. Dave, Dave has created. A long fucking oh. Yeah. <laughs> I've been around a long time. We were live. I know. I'm so dumb. So, uh, all the children get free stuff. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I blew so, that. One. So, yeah, you're, you're going to see um, so just people having fun. We're out here yeah. to make sure that everyone has fun and put smiles on people's faces. That's Brent, what we're all about. Way past my bedtime, as you just saw. I, there's no way <laughs> no, I should be awake right now. It, it's, it's past 10 o'clock somewhere. Absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, but you're gonna see Rylan on the boat being a deckhand on the weekends. You're gonna see him uh, with the, we're we're gonna be out with the family fishing. They like to fish local. They my kids and wife love to do everything. So local. I don't recommend anyone doing what you'll see my kids going to do because they're kind of on a they're kind of crazy and they like going for bluefin tuna and yellowtail and kelp patties. I don't recommend anyone doing that to your kids though. Please don't do that. It's a real long, boring day. Um, they so, love Catalina, too. Oh, my gosh. You're going to see Catalina. Everyone's going to see Catalina wide open. Catalina is a special, special place. And you never know what you're going to catch. You put a bait in the water, you just don't know what you're going to catch. It could, be a, it could be a perch, a little one-pound perch. Or it could be a 30-pound yellowtail or a 60-pound white sea bass. You never know what you're going to get. Yeah, and... That's what the really cool thing about watching the show is. You hear this from all your friends and you hear about it all the time. But if you've never been out there, you don't know what the hell they're talking about when they come home and tell you. Now you're going to get to see it. You're going to get to see Justin with three hooks in his face. Everyone trying to get him to bait their hooks and the tangles and all the, all the special things that happen. But gang, listen, you want to be the superstar of your company? Get in on this now. Call me or Justin and go. Do hey, it sooner than later. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you right now. Sooner than later. Because the price only goes up. Just like feel. <laughs> the price only goes up. Just like the Big Mac meal at McDonald's went up. Get in it now. Because later on, it's going to be really expensive. And and we would let you come in for free for a day to see what happens. But we tried that with a couple of shady mothers and they are shady and they, we gave, we made them famous and they bent us over and they were like, ha ha ha. Well, that ain't going to work out too well for you. I'll just let you know that little boy, because you're putting your, you're putting your saddle on the wrong horse, but yeah. you'll see it'll all be revealed, but this is your chance to get into something really pitching. If you got, if you got a company or your friends have a company, it doesn't matter. Probably if it's a roofing company, I'll guarantee you there's going to be people watching that have a roof. Yep. If it's a plumbing yeah. company, I guarantee you there's going to be people watching that have a toilet. Yeah. I, Just like the lobster video, the lobster videos were averaging what, 17 to 20,000 views a night. These videos on the water during the daytime, I guarantee you're going to average in the beginning. 40 to 70,000 a night, a uh, morning or a day. Then by, let's see here, July, I can guarantee it's going to be averaging over 100,000 a day. It's oh, pretty yeah. cool. 100,000 views a day. What the heck is going on? Yeah. It's going to be pretty phenomenal. Every single one of the people watching have a pest problem. You can be the, your company could be that. Just think of that, gang. This <clears> is it. This is your opportunity. The powder keg's about to explode, and you're all going to stand there and go, we should have got in. I wish I would have listened to my friends when they told me that I should have invested in Microsoft in 85 when I didn't even know. Not, that root word wasn't even invented yet, and I was like, I ain't going to put $10 into Microsoft. What are you talking about? What, what is that? Oh, yeah. What, okay. about, what about something recent? Bitcoin. What about when it was 75 cents? I, I got one Look for you. What about when your saltwater guide was 99 cents? Right? Or 99. <laughs> or 9.99. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very true. Very true. Uh, so, yeah, don't miss it, everybody. Tomorrow's going to be pretty phenomenal. 
we're either going to succeed or not. <laughs> we're going to try our best to catch everything in the ocean. We're going to succeed. Like I tell you all the time, Justin, it's not about the fish. It's about you and what a special yeah. person you are and how you explain everything <laughs> so eloquently and perfectly. Yep. It's all about you, buddy. It's not about the fish. Let's hope and pray we don't catch anything tomorrow and you can just entertain us the whole time. Please, please don't catch anything. <laughs> what is happening? Here's what's happening, Jason. We're going live starting tomorrow. It will be our first full live event on the water across all social media platforms that we can get on. We're trying to get on all four. TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. We know we're going to be on YouTube and Facebook tomorrow. We're hoping Instagram and TikTok let us in. And we will see, but we're going big. It's going to be the beginning of something that you can't even believe, Justin, Jason. And you watch this. You watch the live shows, Darren, Brent, Steve. You guys watch John Stanley. You guys watch those live lobster shows. You were all glued to the television. You guys all stayed up way later than you ever did before. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's going to happen tomorrow. And I'm going to be like, I'm going to go to the bathroom or something, come back, and he's going to have a halibut in that bag. And I'm going to be like, what happened? I got to go back. <laughs> I know. <laughs> got to go back. Yep, go big or go home. Exactly, Brent. So, yeah, it'll be 7 a.m., 7 a.m. So, 7 o'clock in the morning tomorrow, not 7 p.m. We're not fishing nighttime anymore. We're fishing during the day. 7 a.m., 7 a.m. tomorrow. Pacific Standard Time. <laughs> And the really fun thing about it is it's going to be uh, not only is it going to go live, but then as soon as we're done, it'll be just like all of the podcasts. You'll be able to listen to it or watch it on your way home. It'll, it, yeah. Whatever. You'll be able to see it when you get home at night and you, no one's, no one's going to have a rerun of it on the news or anything. You're going to have, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna watch this. This is, and you can fast forward it then at home and go, okay. Oh, oh somebody's got a bent rod. How, it's gonna, <laughs> right. wow. We're going to get so much phenomenal content off of this. It's going to be insane. Um, what is it? Oh, Tim, that's for uh, Dave to answer. <laughs> Jason said he fell asleep to the engines on my boat. <laughs> so did all the passengers. <laughs> it yeah, is so funny. There's a big shindig going on down here in Cabo San Lucas. Yeah. It's got nothing to do with private Pitching. boaters. It's all about it's all about a, a lease. And a, yeah. and and I can't really I don't my problem is I got too many people listening to me and following me. I can't really talk about what's going on there. But let's just say that it's going on. <laughs> yeah. and it's probably one of the biggest events to happen down here in a very long time yeah so I, i'm guessing tomorrow it's going to be pretty dang good because we have um the low pressure that came in the other day and hi everyone knows as i've said before high pressure fish don't really like that um but the low pressure that came in i think the fish are really going to start biting we have clear water as you can see at my dock right now i don't know if you can see the water but it's pretty dang clear extremely clear um there is a lot of bait in the water so that's good as well and tomorrow i'll be using squid and sardines we'll see how that is oh and the red crabs are thick in san clemente california on the beach not the island on the beach one of our friends devin was just on the beach if you just joined us and the red crabs are all over the beach so it's going to be an invasion yeah this year is going to be pretty phenomenal for fishing so if you don't have a boat i would highly suggest going to get a boat becoming a member of your saltwater guide and you're going to be catching fish this year like you wouldn't even believe so and hit the like button the subscribe button and uh, the notification button so that you don't miss justin tomorrow when he goes live at noon oh tim just watch the watch the show while you're at the doctor yeah just put, your doctor <laughs> on put it up on the big screen on. why they're yeah. getting it where they're sticking the tube in your butt or whatever they're doing to you, just <laughs> hey, hold on. Look, look, Justin's catching a fish. Hold on. Woo. <laughs> oh gosh. Way past yeah. my bedtime. <laughs> really? Yeah. So yeah, make sure everyone stays tuned tomorrow, 7 a.m.
7 a.m. It'll be a, I'll be talking about Promar, Promar a lot. You're gonna see these yeah. dumping down into the water. Well, we're gonna get out of here, gang. Kelly yeah. came from dinner is way past my bedtime. My God, it's 7 10. Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh, this is a late night for me. It's uh it's 10 o'clock in Florida, so there you go. <laughs> All right, everybody. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow on the show. It's gonna be insane. Yeah, yeah. Cubby Paul. Cubby, how are We're going you? Live fishing tomorrow. It's gonna be like the lobster thing. You just jumped on here at the end of the show, but we're going live tomorrow fishing. You'll probably be out on the water fishing with Richard. Justin will be fishing live. So while you're fishing, you can watch Justin fish. <laughs> He'll be catching Marlin. I'll be catching rockfish. Yeah, I'll be fishing. Cubby and I would rather catch rockfish than anything that lives down here. I promise you that. Yeah. We've got <laughs> cod fishing out here. All right. Hey.